Hi, I'm Thomas Lucas, and I work for Rogers O'Brien Construction, and I'm your superintendent for the T.A. Brown Elementary School. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about structural steel. You can build a structure a couple of different ways. You can build it out of wood, which is primarily what your houses and some of your apartment complexes are built out of. Steel is stronger than wood, and because this is a aesthetically challenging building to engineer, we went with steel. Steel is faster to form in this kind of complicated aesthetic structure, so we went with the steel over concrete. So your column is the vertical piece that comes up out of the ground. Here, they're all attached to uh, steel embeds that are in the concrete. We looked at some of those when we were talking about concrete a couple of weeks ago. So the column welds off to that. The beam is the horizontal piece that is connected between two columns. Now there's another horizontal piece that is the floor joist and it spans between two beams and it helps support the metal deck, which is the floor. For these guys, safety is always the most important thing, just like it is for anybody else. But their safety comes in a little bit different form because they do a bunch of aerial work. So there's a guy on a platform when they're standing the column that's raised the platform up to about 20 feet and, and he's helping guide that column into place. So he has to make sure that when he's not in the way, but he's also not too far away from it that he overextends himself. Once beams start going in, then, then those guys find themselves sitting on top of the beam. And then they start wearing uh, fall protection harnesses, which is a, a five point harness that goes over the shoulders, straps across the chest, and then uh, straps around each leg. And it has a tie off point in the back that ties off to a clamp that goes around the flange of the beam so that you know if they were to fall off or get knocked off by something that um, they would essentially dangle from the beam before they hit the ground. Then you also have the guys that are doing welding. Welding is really just melting of lead rod using electricity. When the rod comes into contact with other steel, it completes the circuit and it starts to melt that rod at a very high degree of temperature. When that spark goes off, it creates a brilliant white blue light. Well, if you look at that without any protection for your eyes, you're going to damage your eyes to the point of blindness. It'd be like staring at the sun all day long. So the welders, they wear a protective hood that protects their face and their eyes. In it, there's an opening that has a special piece of glass that makes it safe to look at the welding arc. When it's on, everything around him is very dark. So he's got to take precautions to know that, okay, hoods up, see what's going on, hoods down, all right, I know what I'm doing. Um, because when he, when he strikes off and he can see and he gets that flash and the, well then it kind of lights up and, and he can see better what he's doing through that protective lens. If you were to watch a welder, he's going to put the hood down and he's going to weld for a little bit and he's going to pick the hood up and he's going to inspect the work that he's done to make sure that everything is connecting like it should be, that he hasn't gotten offline anywhere and then he's going to put the hood back down and he's going to keep going and he's going to repeat that process and do a little bit and check it, do a little bit and check it. Uh, just because, you know, it's it's there to protect his eyes while he's welding, but he needs to be able to see. So he's got to be able to stop every now and then and, and inspect his work. 